Okay, so we have um, we have cups, wands, swords, and one major arcana, the chariot. You have a court card, which is the knight of cups. To the right of your court card, you have the four of cups. To the left, you have the six of wands. And then you have this two of swords at the base and the chariot on top. That's a, a cherry on top, the chariot on top. So that's, that's a pretty complicated reading for sure. So let's look at the meaning of these cards and let's start with the center card which is the Knight of Cups oh this is an amazing card okay so we have a river a winding river going through uh, dry terrain it could be the desert he's on a white horse He's got a nice horse, awesome card, he's a knight. And what it's saying is that uh, you are dedicated, motivated, emotional, tender, sensitive, and a loving person. So that's you right there in the middle. So you do like to travel and are constantly expanding yourself. You are close to your family and friends. You are a defender of honor as well as a defender of matters of the heart and in matters of loyalty. You are the person that everyone goes to for emotional support. Now, this Knight of, Cup, of Cups is symbolic of a younger kind of love, a younger kind of love, but it's that kind of love that is enhanced. Your love is enhanced by your ability to take action. That's what it's saying. So this knight is um, is an innocent energy, but it is um, but it is a maturing energy. In other words, uh, perhaps growing and learning in the process, a student of life, let's say. Okay, so that's what that means. And uh, this knight sacrifices for others in, in, in a path for wisdom. So he's willing to sacrifice himself for others to help gain wisdom. Okay, when we look at this knight, he's riding a horse and he's wearing his armor. He's fully armored from his head to his feet. Totally armored, completely armored. Can you see that? Hey. It's it's a a warring armor. He's going off to war. Okay, that's what the armor is for. But he doesn't look like he's fighting, does he? He looks pretty relaxed. This armor, though, it looks like he's going off to war. He it, he really isn't, right? He does he doesn't look at all. I mean, it's an it's a warring armor, but it really isn't. Okay, it's more of an artistic armor. Okay. Armadura artistica, an artistic armor. He wears a helmet that has wings. His helmet has wings up here. And um, these are signs of the dual sex, sex nature of Hermes. He's a Greek god. He's an Olympian god in the Greek religion and mythology, the son of Zeus and the second youngest of the Olympian gods, Dionysus being the youngest. Oh. So he's an emissary or messenger of the gods. Hermes was also the divine trickster, the god of boundaries and the transgression of boundaries, the patron for herdsmen and thieves, for graves, and for heralds. He is described as moving freely between the worlds of the mortal and divine and was the conductor of souls into the afterlife. So he is uh, described as moving between the worlds of the mortal and the worlds of the divine. He's also the protector and, pa and patron 
of roads and travelers. His attributes and symbols include uh, the satchel or pouch, winged sandals, and winged cap. And the caduceus is the staff carried by Hermes and consequently by Hermes Trismegistus in Greco-Egyptian mythology. Uh, the Knight of Cups is depicted riding on a horse. He carries his cup strongly with his, it looks like it's his right hand. And it is a huge cup that he has. It's a big cup. It's uh, almost as big as his whole chest. There is an energy of youth who is poetic and graceful, a dreamer. He is a bearer of new messages. And he's at the center. There is a level of emotional security within this person. There is a great chance that you will be offered some kind of interesting and unexpected invitation, which will push you through an emotional experience that will have an opportunistic end. Your decisions are easy to make and don't involve a lot of thought through the making, through the process of making the right decisions. While the Knight of Cups has learned all of those lessons and has become much more um, accustomed to handling himself with a level of grace and strength previously unavailable. The decisions you make are highly evolved for your place in life because you have allowed yourself to learn how to connect to your higher self and higher source energy. And you're getting that at your center, by the way. So that's what that is saying. So the Knight of Cups is a dreamer, therefore your life is currently being blessed with the ability to dream and dream big but unlike the page who is still trying to figure out how to put things into action the knight is well aware of the necessity of momentum in all things you must become adept at making constant adjust adjustments for yourself flow in the direction that is being presented that resonates with your inner understanding Fantasy is always exciting, but you have grown up to know that without reality, it means nothing. When you deny your basic attachment to the world, your imagination is incapable of producing anything. Um, what we're going to do now, I wanted to read um, the chariot card, which is at the top of this reading. It is a major arcana. It's the number seven of the major arcanas. The chariot is after the lovers and before strength. Why that is why that is the case, I don't know. But it is the case. It says here that the chariot calls all travelers and adventurers. Cool, because the Knight of Cups is all about it's for it's like the guide, the spiritual guide for travelers. Alright? And then you have the chariot which is, a, it calls all travelers and adventurers. It's calling you. So why is it calling you? That's what we want to know. So this is a card of um, exploration and expansion that guides you on a journey that you are about to take or one that you may possibly be, uh, possibly uh, have started on already. It is not an easy ride as a chariot is not a modern vehicle of comfort. So it is a time to think about getting back to the basics. Okay, so what does that mean? Right? Lessening your load and simplifying your life before you engage on the road ahead okay so now is an excellent time in your life to consider what you can do to cut back rather than th rather than thinking of your journey as one of as one for vacation the chariot usually indicates something 
a tad more active, a journey of the spiritual sense or even one for work and finance. Whatever, whatever struggle you are going through in your life right now, do not worry that it is going to be all for nothing. The chariot assures you that you are definitely going places. All right, so then in the Rider Waite deck, which is this one, the chariot has symbolisms present and it's often interpreted, interpreted as balancing out opposite forces. Balancing out opposite forces. There is much duality in the the colors of this card which state that you need to make sure that you are rationing out your efforts at this time approaching your challenges with a slow or delayed speed will cause you not to reach your intended destination pulling ahead too quickly will fatigue you and you will become too tired to complete your task so don't go too fast don't go too slow also depicted in the card is the rider on the top of the enclosed carriage. We can only view the top half of the rider and he is ready for battle. He is prepared for challenges that lie ahead and he is ready for battle because he's wearing his armor. So he is prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. Okay, he's got this armor, he's ready for battle. The colors are rich in symbolism, reflecting thought and emotion. While this is a card of action, often that action is an internal struggle. It is either a battle of wills or a personal ch dragon that must be slayed. <laughs> Whatever it is that you are facing right now, the chariot says, don't stop and don't give up. All right, there it is. As you uh, persevere and move forward on your path, you will engage in many obstacles. And these hurdles that you encounter are ones that you will learn from. Often, a card that comes up after a relationship has ended or during an, an exceptionally difficult time, okay, they're talking about the chariot, the chariot reminds you that this too shall pass. Things are being set in motion regarding matters of the heart and what you feel right now is only a temporary hurdle. You need to strengthen your resolve and protect your emotions. So love is an adventure and like all adventures there is a climax where everything comes to a head. Imagine yourself not alone right now but facing a path ahead leading you into the mountains. You do not have to choose to go this path alone. You are able to bring others with you, but you must make sure that they have the same goals, the same goals, and in an end destination in mind. Do not waste your time on relationships at this time that are going nowhere or settle just because you feel you should. Avoid allowing comfort to guide your relationship. It may be a good time to spice things up. Okay. Okay, so now we have, I'm going to, we're going to be talking about the Four of Cups, which is the, at the right side of your center, your Knight of Cups. You have Four of Cups. And on the left side of your center card, you have the Six of Wands. So now with the Four of Cups, you are either experiencing a time of weariness or frustration in terms of your material world or you're about to experience a transit of this aspect of your life, which is, which is your material affairs. So if we want to be a little bit more specific, which we do, um, now, with the Four of Cups, 
we are recognizing that there is a lack of perspective happening in your life. The young man that you see here in this card, he's sitting under a tree contemplating his material possessions. There are three cups, which means that each cup means some kind of material acquisition or material aspect of your life. Um, yet, even though he's contemplating these material possessions in his life, he is feeling broke, perhaps unappreciated, somewhat weak and empty. In front of him are those three full cups that he does not notice at all. And from above, being offered to him by the universe, he's being handed a fourth cup. He completely ignores this also. There is a level of jadedness associated with this card because of a lacking of seeing what you have and only focusing on what you do not possess. The Four of Cups is pointing out this aspect to you and that you have a lot more than you are willing to see right now. Okay, so taking all of your fortune for granted is really a, a quick way to ensure that you do not receive any more of these blessings from the universe. That, was, that is what this card is reminding us. This is a cautionary card, you guys. Right now you have the option of stepping out of this kind of behavior by learning again to be grateful for what you have, okay? Don't forget this, Leos. This is very important. When you are grateful, you are, you are telling the universe that you would like more of what you have, a lot more. When you are taking what you have for granted, you tend to fill up much more of your thoughts with a level of emptiness or frustration. And then, being that we create our realities, the universe gives you more of what you are thinking about. So basically, right thought is what the Four of Cups focuses on. Having those right thoughts. You need to recognize your thoughts so that you are in a position of thankfulness. Okay? Should you choose to ignore this, you will continue on this cycle of frustration. So this card is suggesting to you not only the, the idea of meditation or meditating on what you do have, but also considering physically putting yourself in a position where you might see others who are less fortunate than you to get yourself back on track. This is a great time to give to charity to work in a soup kitchen, uh, any kind of social services work, volunteer work that gets you out there to get you out of your head and uh, to get you to, to remember to just be more aware of how fortunate you really are, okay? So the offering of servitude will strengthen your sense of character and uh, will probably lead you in a direction that will give you a better mindset of receiving rather than ignoring. So you might be bored and are, and are in a need of uh, motivation, but you haven't been making any steps toward your goal because you are probably dissatisfied. Uh, with what you have accomplished. You are being too hard on yourself. It is time for you to prioritize and to examine what you have done 
and then consi consider what you still have to do. And there's definitely a lot of cautionary stuff going on here with this Two of Swords, the Chariot, which is okay. It's, it's time to move forward. So this is this is a problematic card. It's not really that big of a problem, big of a deal, but in a way it, it can be. Okay, so you need to work on that. Now, on the uh, left side of your center card, you have the Six of Wands. And this is a really positive card because it's all about success in your life recently. Um, this card, the Six of Wands, is a card of triumph and uh, victory and says that currently you are in a place in your life where you have the right to feel proud. Too much pride though can get um, in your way so you want to be sure that you aren't getting overconfident. But all in all things are looking up for you and generally this card will appear after some sort of a test of wills. It is not a fluffy card that represents small successes, okay? Uh, rather, this is a time of congratulations on something larger in your life, Leo. So you can feel proud that you have put forth your best effort. With the symbolism of this card, we get the feeling that it is referring to emotions and material gain in your life, represented by the colors green and blue. And um, just to pull this up a little bit so you guys can see, uh, yeah, the cloak on the horse is green and then we have the blue sky. There is a, a rider with... Um, with a reef on his head and he's on this white horse. This is the horse of victory and even this wand has a uh, laurel tied to the top. So he's got a laurel on his head and he has a laurel on his, on his wand. And uh, this the card announces that you can probably celebrate your own your own success in your own right. People are acknowledging your success because he is surrounded by, by folks in this image. Other people are celebrating and recognizing this success. It's saying that you are the master of your own destiny and your actions alone have set you on the correct path. Interesting that you are getting this card to one side of your Knight of Cups and this card to the other side of your Knight of Cups. They're like really contrasting and the Two of Swords is pointing at each one individually. So maybe you're having a little bit of a conflict in deciding uh, which direction to go. Still, that Six of Wands is a, a very individualistic card with a strong emphasis on what you have done correctly. In the past, you, maybe you have achieved some very important aspects, but maybe, perhaps, you're still unsatisfied. But the Six of Wands is telling you that now is the time to be proud in to be proud of yourself. But remember that not everything is roses. Understand that your success may attract negative attention by others who might be jealous or envious of your achievements. So stay clear from those who would potentially want to see you knocked down or knocked off that horse of victory. Um, and are secretly wishing that this would happen and that you might encounter your own failure. Because there's always going to be that one person who is uh, dissatisfied with their own 
situation in life currently and will probably not be very happy for you. So the Six of Wands serves as a reminder that not everyone around you can be taken at face value. Okay, Laos? This is also a time in which you may feel an expansion in terms of your emotions and in terms of your spirituality. You may feel a high from the rush of adrenaline for conquering the issues in your life as of lately. Do not allow your confidence and joy to get too carried away, okay? The battle that you have faced is over and you have succeeded. But there will be more battles that will come be coming in where you're going to have to prove yourself. So allowing your exuberance to knock you off your guard is in other areas can be not a very good idea for you, especially uh, in terms of perhaps certain legal matters that might be pertinent for you right now or might be coming up. Now, if your victory happens to be related to a legal issue, specifically be prepared for an appeal or for someone that will try to question the judgment in some way. You have a good standing for success, but don't allow communications or bragging to trip you up, okay? Be mindful of texts, emails, letters, and verbal interactions so that they do not get taken out of context later and used against you, Leos. That is an interesting warning. And that uh, that is what's happening here with these two cards. Such few days That we spent together Share. They seem to last forever